you ever wondered why your team consistently misses deadlines and how you can turn that around? Today, I'll share three powerful leadership strategies that will transform your team from serial procrastinators into reliable deadline heroes. Stick around because missing this could mean the difference between continued project delays and your team becoming the most dependable unit in the organization. And who doesn't want that, right? Let's understand the core issue. Teams missing deadlines is more than just an inconvenience. It's a significant problem that affects productivity, customer satisfaction, and even the morale within the organization. As a leader, you may find yourself asking, like, what are we doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Why can't we seem to hit our deadlines despite our best efforts, despite my best efforts? Like, I'm trying here. I'm, I'm, I'm trying everything. Well, despite their best intentions, teams fail to complete tasks on time due to a myriad reasons. Inadequate resource allocation, poor communication, and lack of accountability. Oh boy, accountability, the A word. These pain points are frustrating because they create a snowball effect, cascading impacts, delaying not just individual tasks, but entire projects. And when projects are delayed, nobody wins. Your company doesn't win. Imagine launching a product three times behind schedule or having to explain to a key client why their deliverables won't meet the agreed timeline. <sighs> Rings a bell. And it certainly does with me. I, I do not like that, particularly when we've been doing everything we possibly can. So what is the cascading effect? What is the ripple effect of those missed deadlines? So let's dig a little bit deeper. Firstly, when deadlines are missed, it often leads to a chaotic work environment where you're constantly being reactive, not proactive. People are scrambling to catch up and this cr creates that perpetual state of emergency and feeding into the chaos and stress levels that elevate and that affects both the quality of the work and the team dynamics and the mental health and physical well-being. Poor communication exacerbates the problem. Team members frequently find themselves out of sync, unaware of the priorities, or uncertain about their own responsibilities. The domino effect here is monumental. It leads to duplicated efforts, overlooked tasks, or incomplete work. And that is very, very frustrating. It's incredibly expensive and is very inefficient. Lastly, the lack of accountability means there's no clear ownership of tasks. When no one's held responsible for the delays, excuses become the norm. And that commitment starts to wane. In such environments, talented individuals often feel unappreciated and prefer to blend into the background rather than take initiative because, let's face it, it just ain't worth it. So if these scenarios resonate with you or things similar... Don't worry, you're not alone. Many leaders grapple with these challenges, but there's good news. Solutions do exist, and it's maybe not as complex as you think. So let's talk about what those strategies are. Strategy number one is implement clear and realistic planning. So the first step to reversing those missed deadlines is to put clear and realistic planning at the forefront. So one of the acronyms that I'm familiar with is SMART goals, specific, measurable, action-oriented or achievable, depending on your acronym, relevant and time-bound, SMART criteria. So here's a real world example. Working on re-entry for a community post wildfire, for example. So 5,000 people evacuated and uh, it was the biggest fire of this national park's uh, history of the national park um, in its history across the country for that matter and high high profile this was like one of the crown jewels of the national park system it was highly public this event uh, it was incredibly politically charged more on that some other time uh, maybe over an adult beverage all sorts of things like that and it was a highly stressful time so when you talk about re-entry for example one of the most critical parts is coming up with what that date might look like. Because once you establish that date, that end state, what does right look like? And you attach a date with it. Everyone can now plan for that and backwards plan. People were, were unable to and, and unwilling, and I understand, to commit to anything. They're like, yeah, you know what? It will take us uh, three or four weeks to do this. It will take us six weeks to do that because they didn't know. They, they weren't able to, uh, to allocate resources because as soon as you have a date, then you can decide how you're going to do it. So some strategies around it and also the resourcing required. So once we declared that date, then all of the industry partners, all of the emergency services, all of the infrastructure folks, the public works, everyone like that knew that there was a specific, measurable, action-oriented 
realistic and relevant time sensitive goal associated with it. Uh, there are different, like it means different things to different people. So that's why I'm, I'm mixing it a little bit. But essentially what we're talking about is creating a goal that is something that others can see and achieve and making sure that, that is a time sensitive or time associated kind of event for them. Kind of in the weeds, but an action tip is adopting some sort of project management tool. It really helps you visualize timelines and track progress. And maybe it's a Gantt chart, maybe it's a spreadsheet. Every morning we would show it up on the big screen and we would actually track the progress so that everyone was on the same page. And there's gonna be much more on that, but using technology to your advantage. The second strategy is foster transparent communication. Open, honest communication is the backbone of any successful team. Regular check-ins and, and updates ensure that everyone is on the same page and can identify bottlenecks before they become major issues. I spoke about the, the morning status meeting. It was 08.30 to, to 9 o'clock. It was a cast of thousands, and that's what I wanted, so that we all knew what each other was up to, and we were all tracking. And also, it's good for morale to see people knocking off some of those tasks as you march ever towards those deadlines. And I can tell you too, if we can do that in 23 or 24 days, which was astronomical, you can certainly get your project management team who's within one company to march forward and meet those deadlines. So it was such an impressive display of teamwork and that doesn't happen organically. It's by doing these things that we're talking about here today. Tactically adopt maybe some sort of uh, Slack, not sponsored, uh, instant chat messaging so that you have real time ability to communicate updates. Number three, cultivate a culture of accountability. Holding team members accountable doesn't mean micromanagement. And it doesn't mean that you're coming down on people or you're being a hard ass. It means ensuring there's clear ownership of tasks. So who owns it and a sense of responsibility toward the team. So celebrate those successes and learn from failures together. And something that I do very early on that's super important is consider implementing a responsibility assignment matrix or a racy chart. I call it a racy. So who's responsible for it? Who's accountable? Who needs to be consulted with and informed for each task or each major element? And that way, when deadlines are missed and it's being run rampant, you can start to track back of where that might have fallen off the rails a little bit. Making sure that you're having the regular review sessions to assess that progress and address any deviations. So I talked about the deadlines, the re-entry. I would do the morning status meeting and we'd go through the spreadsheet, but then I would have what we called emerging issues meetings. So the emerging issues meetings were meant to address those as close in real time as possible those emerging issues that are impeding our progress towards reaching that deadline. And re remember, missed deadlines can feel like an insurmountable challenge, but with strategic planning, transparent communication, and a culture of accountability, that's critical. That third one, you can transform your team's reliability. And accountability does not have to be meaning disrespectful or being mean or hard ass or you leading from fear. It's being clear in who's responsible for doing what. Remember, the goal isn't just to finish tasks on time, but to create a productive and ultimately harmonious work environment where everyone thrives. No one has that pit in their stomach when they're coming in to work. I don't want that. And if you take action today, watch your team, watch those deadlines get knocked off like nobody's business. So what's your next step? Adopt the strategies, tailor them to your team's needs and turn those deadlines into a thing of the past. Thanks for listening. As always, like, subscribe, share, comment, review, all of those things, especially if you found the information valuable. Until next time.